90 days ago, I came across a video of this guy selling on Amazon. He was doing insane amounts of revenue. And I thought it was really interesting. Now, in the past, I've always looked into selling on Amazon and I've seen guys making a ton of money with it. And I never really understood how they were doing it. So about four years ago in 2017, I decided to try selling on Amazon with a model called private label. I tried creating a product, put my brand on it, sending it off to Amazon and selling it. It turned out to flop and I got discouraged selling on Amazon. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have tried this in the past too. And while you people do have a ton of success with it, it's definitely harder and a lot more expensive to start up. Back then I was much younger and I really didn't have any money to play with. So it ended up failing, lost a ton of money. Two years later, I come across reselling sneakers, botting, and I got super into it. But the thing with botting sneakers and reselling stuff like that, you come to realize that it's not as consistent as you really think it is. You try to explain to yourself, oh, it's consistent. I'm making this much money every day, every week, every month but then you really look into it and you break everything down. And after fees, proxy expenses, bot expenses, all of those expenses, you come to realize you're really not making that much money. So you're kind of gassing yourself up in a way, thinking you're making a lot more than you really are. And then reality hits and you're like barely making any money at all. What's going on? Fast forward 2022, we get hit with this massive sneaker recession. Obviously we know what's going on in the world right now. With sneakers itself, the market is completely dead. I'm sure you guys remember a lot of you guys that were selling sneakers back then, that probably still are. Back in the day, we used to be flipping general release Jordan releases for profit locally. Yeezys were selling like crazy. I think it's safe to say that when you see all these clean colored Jordan ones sitting on shelves, the market's pretty dead. And there's really nothing we could do with sneakers now to actually make a full-time long-term income that's sustainable. It used to be hard in the past, but now it's close to impossible. Now, can you do it? Of course you can. Is it easy? No, it was never easy to begin with. And now it's so much harder. So as I was saying earlier in the video, I came across a video of these guys selling on Amazon. And it was kind of cool. From my experience in the past, I was a little skeptical. Like I said, I lost a ton of money with private label. And I really thought that was the only way of selling products on Amazon. I recently learned that's not the only way to sell products on Amazon. And I would probably say there's four different types of ways you can sell products on Amazon. I'm not gonna really talk about the digital stuff. I'm sure you make money with that too. That's just something I've never gotten into. So I just wanted to make this quick little video explaining to you guys the one that I'm doing explaining the other options you could do and let you guys know that you can make a ton of money selling on Amazon. You guys know how slow the markets are. Amazon is not slow whatsoever. Your products will sell extremely fast if you know what you're doing, if you have the right resources, the right tools, and you have the right strategy at finding these products. So obviously number one, we got private label an amazing business model if you can make it work. It's a lot more risky than the other three. However, if you can get success with this, it is the best thing you can potentially build simply because you own a brand, you built a brand, people know your brand, you have a lot of leverage with that. Either selling the brand, making it even bigger, turning it into a huge brand that's across retail stores. But that's the beauty of creating a private label brand on Amazon. You're essentially creating a new brand. Think about any of these random new brands that popped up in different retail stores, different stuff you see on Amazon, on those most likely once started out as a private label brand like i said i tried that in the past i had no success with it however not saying if i were to try now i wouldn't private label probably the best thing you could do if you can make it work like i said next up we have something called retail arbitrage essentially what you're doing is going to retail stores buying up inventory from there selling it on amazon you do so by using coupons in store you find products that are that are really really hot on amazon that might not be in every retail store you either send it into amazon yourself and they fulfill it or you can fulfill it yourself go on the listing sell it as fulfilled by merchant fbm once someone orders it you can just go ahead and ship it off to them and you keep a difference there's your profit it. that's the whole gist of retail arbitrage you walk in a store you buy stuff for less you go to amazon you sell for more you keep the difference another method for selling on amazon could be a wholesale method no you're not a wholesaler yourself instead you're buying inventory from wholesalers to sell on amazon and while majority of these distributors won't give you inventory for a profitable price you can always negotiate lower prices you can always go to a new distributor get their inventory list find prices that are better essentially what this wholesale model is you work with wholesale distributors you buy buy their stuff, you ship it to your house or a prep center, which again, we'll be discussing in a later video. You send this stuff to Amazon and that stuff sells. These brands are household brands such as Sharpie, Febreze, Arm & Hammer. The beauty of this model is you're selling inventory, you're selling products that are already extremely high in demand. So you don't have to do any marketing. You don't have to do anything to grow this brand because you're not the one that's building the brand. All you're doing is selling their goods. This is an inventory based business. So as long as you have enough capital to go ahead and buy the inventory for whatever costs you're getting it at for profit, of course, that's what we want to aim for. Majority of these products, like any Febreze, Sharpie, brands like that are selling so fast 
you can sell hundreds if not thousands of units every single month so that's essentially the wholesale model in very basic terms you're buying products from distributors or brands themselves for a discounted wholesale price and you're charging a retail price on Amazon. Consumers are going there, buying it simply because they get next day or same day shipping in cases. So you're just supplying the inventory and the customers are already there to buy the product because the brand itself does the marketing so the demand is already there. Just like we are for retail arbitrage and just like we are for online arbitrage, which is the fourth model, which is the one that I mainly focus on at the moment. What online arbitrage is, it's very similar to retail arbitrage, except instead of buying stuff in stores, which is extremely hard to scale because you most likely stores aren't going to have a ton of inventory you gotta waste a ton of time driving all these stores checking it out potentially not even getting stuff from certain places online arbitrage we're buying stuff online we're getting it shipped to our house and we're sending it into amazon for them to ship off to the customers any website you find that's legit buying inventory from there at a cheaper discounted price and selling it on amazon for retail price or in some cases stuff on amazon sells for even higher than retail price simply because the demand is so high people want their stuff the next day or the day of so they don't mind spending an extra five ten twenty dollars on the product just to get it some of these things are so popular on amazon they literally sell a thousand plus times a day and obviously that's spread across multiple sellers but again that's for a different video and i know what you're thinking i'm gonna buy this stuff it's not gonna sell let me debunk that right now if you know exactly how to find good products which i will show you guys in later videos as long as you consider these factors of is this product selling fast enough how many sellers are on the listing what's the average price over 30 90 180 days you're gonna make money on these products you're buying but yeah, I just wanted to make this quick little video to explain the four different models. My business primarily focuses 80% online arbitrage, 20% wholesale. I don't really do any retail and private label. I definitely want to get into down the line. Hope you guys are excited for some of these videos. I know my channel has 100% been about botting, but at this point of what I'm doing, it doesn't really fit into anything. And I've been doing this YouTube channel for so long. I don't want to just get rid of it completely and stop posting. I'd like to stay active on it. Like the stuff you sell can literally go from clothes. You can even sell shoes. A lot of people make a ton of money selling shoes on Amazon. It's just not the hype shoes you might think of. It's gonna be random stuff that we get on discounts. Beauty products, supplements, food. And the thing is, it's not like we're doing anything bad in terms of scalping everyday goods. All we're doing is selling it for retail costs we're selling it for market price because we don't control the price on Amazon. The market controls the price. We can only sell something for as much as someone's willing to pay. Fair warning, this business does require a fair amount of capital. If you want to scale, you can definitely start with like a thousand bucks or something. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more information on selling on Amazon, follow my TikTok right here. I post a ton of videos on there about selling on Amazon. And with that, I will see you guys next week in the next video. Peace.